वेलकम बैक एवरी वन सो इफ यू हैव रिसेंटली बॉट अ न्यू कंप्यूटर और यू आर न्यू ऑन विंडोज पी सी और लैपटॉप देन देर आर टेन यूजफुल सी एम डी के मैन दैट विल बी हेल्पिंग यू टू गैदर एंड कलेक्ट मेनी काइंड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इवन हेल्प यू टू मैनेज यू कंप्यूटर फॉर द फ्यूचर प्रॉब्लम तो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड before starting guys make sure if this video help you then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you so in order to bring up the command prompt you will have to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and the command prompt box will now be coming up now here the very first command that i will share with you is slmgr space forward slash xp R. and now if you hit the enter key so this will bring up the windows script host and it will let you know that what kind of addition of windows you are using and whether this machine is permanently activated or not and now the next command is wm ic space logical disk space get space size comma free space comma and caption Now you will be getting all this command in the description, so you can also copy and paste. So once you paste this command, hit the enter key. So this command shows the total available size in your disk drive to ensure you receive the right storage that you were promised from the manufacturer. Okay, now let's move to the next command that is NTSH space ADV firewall space show space all profiles. Now, once you type this command and hit the enter key, it will let you know the firewall status, and you can see the status, the firewall policy, the inbound user notification, the remote management. You can find all these information from here only for your private network, for your public network. All the information will be displayed over here. So basically, it will help you to understand that whether your firewall protection is working or not. So if it's been on, so that's okay. But if it's off, then you have to manually enable it. Okay, now let's move to the next command. That is wm ic space startup space list full. So this command will list all the software installed on your device with their drive and registry location, and this can be of great use to completely remove any unwanted or malicious software for your computer. Now, why I'm sharing this command because many time people purchase any kind of refurbished or any kind of old laptop from anybody else so it's very important to ensure that there is not any kind of malicious software installed because i have seen many people while selling the computer they install any kind of malicious software and that can be the reason behind hacking so this way you can find out all the application installed you can know their drive location and you can also know their registry location and if you don't identify it then you can go ahead and remove them completely from your computer from your registry and from the c drive okay now the next command is task list so once you type this command hit the enter key so it will list you all the active program and the application running in the background this can be really useful for the people who are not aware about this program they can find out that what exactly is running in their background they can look for any application that looks suspicious and then you can copy that particular name search in the google and if you find that application malicious then you have to go ahead and close it and now the next command is of great use to find out the computer information so for that you have to type a very simple command that will be system info and once you hit the enter key it will gather all kind of information about your processor your ram your virtual memory so you can see here first it give you the host name that is your username the os name even it will give you the product id the system boot time the system model the bios version the boot device the total physical memory that you have installed on your computer detail about the virtual memory the page file location network card hyper v requirement so all the detail will be listed over here and this can be really useful to find out the detail about your computer and even in the future if you go ahead and troubleshoot any problem then these detail will be surely helping you and now the next command will be helping you to troubleshoot many kind of internet problem so what happen many time you are connected with the wifi or with the lan connection but when you try to access any kind of website through your browser the website is not coming up so by using this command it will help you that whether you have the connectivity between the internet or not so what you need to do simply type ping give a space 
then you have to type the website name that can be any website like google youtube facebook yahoo or anything so let me type www.google.com and this time if i hit the enter key so if you're getting the reply from this ip address that belong to this website so that means you have the internet connectivity between the internet and your device but if you're not getting the reply or if it get failed to ping to this website then that means that you don't have the active internet connection on your computer all right so now let's move to the next command that is power pfg.cpl so once you type this command and this will bring up the power options and it will display all kind of your power plan which power plan has been currently selected so here you need to decide that which power plan you have to go with so depending on your work depending on your use you have to choose a different power plan so if you do any kind of basic work and if you are on a laptop and you are more concerned about the battery backup then you can go either with a balanced or with a power saver but if you are on a pc or even on a laptop and you are concerned more about the performance not about the battery backup then you will have to click on show additional plan and then you have to go with the high performance and now the next command that i'm going to share with you is a very useful command that will help you in many kind of stages especially for resetting your password so the command is control space user passwords and number two once you type this command and hit the enter key this will bring up the user account and from here you can find out that what kind of local account has been created on your computer and from here only you can click on properties you can change the username you can change the permission whether it should be a standard user or an admin user a part of that if you want to uh, remove it then you can remove it if you want to add a new user account then you can click on add and from here you can either go with a microsoft account or you can also go with a local account so this is a very useful command and you must know about this command especially if you keep forgetting your windows password and now let's move with the last command that is rstrui.exe and once you hit the enter key this will bring up the system restore box and basically system restore is very important for each and every user so what basically it does if you create a restore point today when your computer is working absolutely perfect so in future if anything goes wrong with your computer if it's not working properly there is a lot of infection lots of viruses or if you have lost any kind of data accidentally then you can restore your computer back to the same stage when the computer was working fine so that's all guys for today hopefully found all these cmd command useful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye